Hello and welcome by the Arcade Saga. My name is Ilkian Biersma and today I have a haul to share with you guys. Because the, in the Easter weekend on Saturday we have the annual uh, open house again from Landsbergen. So yeah, obviously I had to visit of course. And I know if I start, uh, if I go visit them, I uh, always buy orchids there because it's they they have beautiful orchids and uh, the prices are very very good. They are fairly cheap, so uh, yeah, that's a beautiful uh, opportunity to buy some orchids. Uh, I know I have quite a lot of them, so I try to um, not buy any more until probably October this year when they have uh, probably their uh, second uh, open house. They have uh, two open houses uh, each year for the last two, uh, two years now, so who knows. But anyhow, uh, yeah, so I try to not buy any more common months. We'll see who, how that goes. I have them sitting on the floor here, so I'm going to uh, grab them one by one so we can have a closer look. And after this video, I will uh, spray them. And I have a video about uh, which uh, spray I like to use. It's not originally uh, my recipe. It's coming from Miss Arcade Girl, but I really, uh, really love it. And it does the job. But I like to do that when I have a new orchids uh, in my greenhouse to spray them as soon as I can. You never know what, what's on there. But anyhow, uh, first we're going to look at them. And like I said, I bought quite a few of them. So uh, <laughs> let's go. I'm going to grab the first one because this is uh, the genre I, I love the most and it's absolutely beautiful. It has fairly uh, big flowers on it. Let me turn that leaf away. Look at this. How beautiful. A Miltoniopsis, obviously. Yeah, this, is, uh, this genus is really my favorite and they had quite a lot of them. But most of them I already have. <clears throat> but this one I uh, didn't have, so I bought this one. And it's absolutely beautiful. We have even a flower spike coming here. And next to it over here, another one. So three spikes. And I also saw some uh, active roots over here. It does look fairly healthy. It has a beautiful color to it. So I thought, yeah, I'm going to give this a go and probably uh, will repot it in the near future because of those growing tips. I'm going to, uh, like I said, I'm going to spray it and probably will damage a, a little bit of the, at least these blooms. I found that the buds um, most of the time still open because I have a bit of oil in there. But anyhow, I, uh, I like to grow it on. So therefore I choose to uh, get this plant as healthy as it can. It's already healthy, don't get me wrong. I'm saying that uh, in the wrong way, but if it has pests, I want to kill them or box or anything, of course. So this is the first one. It's beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Very, very happy with this one. Then we have some orchids that will go outside later on in this year. Some Catalantes, two of them, a beautiful orange one, as you can see, and a beautiful yellow one. So yeah, those colors uh, I really, really love, of course. And it's just starting to grow, as you can see. So these will uh, be on our porch uh, this summer. So yeah, I had to buy those. Those were uh, five euro each. So these were uh, very cheap. <laughs> and I bought another one for, to go outside on the porch. And it's this one. I'm not going to try to pronounce this because I uh, <laughs> will have some difficulties there. But it's just starting to uh, get in uh, to grow again. So yeah, this is going to uh, live outside as well. But I really like the shape of the blooms. There were also the white ones, but I think I like this one a bit better. So therefore I chose this one. Then we have this beautiful yellow cattleya and the blooms are a little bit damaged or the, the spike itself but nonetheless a beautiful yellow color fairly large blooms and oh yeah beautiful sweet fragrance to it absolutely beautiful so yeah this is the direction of growth over here i do not see a new growth coming yet so i'm going to leave this in bloom and I will wait until we see a new grub because I think it will not take uh, that long anymore. One more time, yeah, it's 
fragrance is very, very beautiful. So that's a yellow um, Catleya, no, uh, no name tags. So I don't know, but I think I have another Catleya. Very heavy. And I think I know the name of this one. I think this is the BLC King of Taiwan. And it, the flowers are huge. Look at this. And I know this flower is also damaged. Uh, transport and maybe some bugs here. So I will, uh, will spray it. But I chose this one. Well, first of all, we have a first sign of roots, new roots over here. And this was the only one that has two directions of growth. So therefore I chose this one. So I hope it continues uh, to keep growing in two di directions. So we have a bit of more uh, bigger plant sooner and then we will have probably more of these huge blooms in the near future. Yeah, and I see even a new root up over here. There it is. So yeah, but this uh, yeah can use a clean up as you can see. But a lot of roots and it's very heavy. It's really climbing out of its pot. So it's doing uh, fairly well. But yeah, that's why I chose this one. I'm not really choosing the blooms. Of course, that's uh, what I like. But then I have a close look at the plant and I choose the, the more stronger plants. And, and I believe this one is, uh, is fairly strong. So uh, it probably will grow on fairly nicely. Oops, I didn't check the fragrance. Let me check. Yeah, it's a, uh, oh yeah, there it is. Also fragrance, yeah, this beautiful fragrance has this one. It's a bit more spicy, but still sweet. Very lovely. Very, very lovely. So that's a nice bonus. Then over here, let me grab this one. A Miltonia type. I think it's a cross with the Benuti, something I, I'm not sure if I pronounce it right, but because of the colors and the, it's not really speckles, the uh, pattern, I should say, on the, on the sepals and petals. That reminds me of the Benuti. And it, maybe the lip, it's, that, that one does remind me of the Ragnellii. So maybe it's a cross between the two but it doesn't have any uh, name tag, but I really like the etching on here. So we have that beautiful yellowish color in the middle and then that purple edge on those uh, petals in the, in the so I hope this works, it, but yeah, it's a bit shaky, I'm sorry, but it's beautiful. And here I think we have some remains of some start of something like that of uh, scale, there it was. I knew it was in there. I'm sorry, you guys, but I think it, these plants have a little bit of scale on them. And yeah, so I need to spray them. But beautiful, beautiful blooms. And I have another type of Miltonia, which I do not know the name of as well. If you recognize them, please let me know. But look at this, how beautiful. And this one has two spikes. So yeah, the blooms are a little bit damaged, but that, uh, yeah, this one is fairly uh, fresh, I think. Some buds to come, I'm not sure if they're going to make it all of them, but both of them do have new growth. So I will uh, soon be repotting these as well. So probably the, the blooming uh, uh, the session will not take as long this time, but I, uh, I'm more interested in getting to go and to grow in my, new, in my setup, a new setup for them. So I, uh, the blooms will come back, but I uh, try to uh, keep them as healthy and get them uh, probably uh, at least a new growth as strong as I can. And we have quite a few of them. I see four already. So that's beautiful. One more time. Here she is. So those were the two Miltonias. I, I love Miltonias. <laughs> I love all my orchids. That's the problem. <laughs> this is a... Try, I will uh, put a name in the screen, a variety of a name I can hardly pronounce as well. <laughs> but look at the colors on this one. Absolutely beautiful. The blooms, the shape of it. And this, this was the biggest one with at least here a new growth and new roots. Let me, there they are. 
and if, yeah we have a start of a new growth here as well covered in a sheet there i believe that this is also a new growth because it didn't completely develop the bulb yet so that would mean that we at least have three directions of growth which is beautiful these do not look as good so maybe i need to take those off those bulbs here but like i said i see new roots growth here so yeah one more time those beautiful blooms absolutely stunning so i thought well i'm going to give this a try <laughs> beautiful beautiful and then we have this one this is a fairly common one i think this is um it's a it's a wildcat something probably a wildcat bobcat i think one of those i need to look it up but i will probably find the name for this one and i was looking for this one for quite a while actually and they are fairly common for sale here but i every time i visit a store or our orchid uh, uh, greenhouse um, i didn't saw them for sale but now they were there and a fairly nice bulb as you can see fairly fat and, and beautiful new growth and i believe that the spike isn't that long they can get fairly uh, fairly long um, maybe twice this size but that will uh, probably hopefully uh, happen in the new future but yeah this is beautiful looking very healthy and is that no that's a leaf so we have a beautiful new growth coming there already beautiful colors very nicely a type of wildcat then i have another beauty of course <laughs> all all beauties that's the problem but look at this a nobly typed dendrobium but i love that beautiful purple reddish color there in, in those beautiful white blooms the contrast is beautiful i think beautiful nobly we have even more blooms here and a new growth so this should start making new roots pretty soon and thereby it's a beautiful time to do a repot and it's really top heavy so i'm not sure we have some good roots in there the widest roots but i'm not sure how it's in the pots but on the other hand it's very heavy so maybe that's why it's a little bit a bit uh, moving around for too easy in a pot but absolutely beautiful so let's put it on the floor and don't drop it then we have the biggest one of all <laughs> here we go look at this quite a size and the blooms are damaged but this was the best one i could find I think this is the fire stinker fill, but as you can see, the blooms are damaged quite, quite a lot, sadly. So I will spray this one. This might be also box pests. I'm not sure, but we have also some, some leaves that are damaged, but I will, uh, like I said, spray it very well. But I chose this one because this one is working. <laughs> it's a little bit hard. It's touching uh, a plant above me above us but uh here's a new growth and this side we have also a new growth starting it's here this is the actual new growth so uh and i also see a, a root tip i didn't see when i did buy it but we have a new root starting there as well so this one is uh going for a reprod in a very near future and i will uh, like i said first give it a good spray i'm not sure but maybe some snail damage here sadly but this one was looking the best one and i if i see them for sale on the devices do have uh, fairly quickly some damaging on the leaves i believe so but still still i keep an eye on it so that's a very and i did uh, buy the alba version on my uh, as a gift for my 1k um, you probably saw that video and it turned out i already had <laughs> the alba version anyhow now i, I think i have the uh, quotation marks the more the original one the tinker fill that's uh, very nice of course 
so I have now both of them. And then we have this one, and I think this is a, uh, it's a, obviously a dendrobium, Latoria type, I think. Um, it did remind me a little bit of the Arroyo Taconada, but I'm not sure if it is. So some help on giving this a name would be nice if there if there is any name. Maybe it's their own crush, and then it not may not have a name, but. Who knows? I get uh, quite a lot of help of you guys to uh, get the names right. It's absolutely beautiful. And a lot of canes in here. And there's a new one here, obviously. And we have a new one over here, there. So we will have soon some new roots. Oh, actually, I already see new roots. Let me. I think you can see them. I hope you can. So there are quite a few that uh, it's a beautiful time of year, of course, where they start actually uh, to get into growing modes uh, again. I see another spike. I was uh, checking it. But um, so, yeah, it's a beautiful time of year, of course, to uh, do a repot on them. And, and then they take off a little bit easier when they start new roots. But yeah, anyhow, beautiful. Very, very beautiful. And this one also has some remainings of scale, I believe. That white powdery stuff might even be, well, actually it's a mealy bug. I already see one. It's a mealy bug, not scale. There, just above my thumb. It's a very tiny mealy bug. So that's gone now. <laughs> so yeah, I definitely need to spray them. But I always do this. And I did mention it in my uh, 1K uh, video where I did buy my new fires. And I'm not sure uh, who, but somebody did left me a comment that I should spray it. And I normally do that. I normally do that. So good advice, spray them. But because you can see they have uh, some uh, pests on them. And it happens. When you have so many orchids together, you will uh, get some pests. Or oh, pretty likely have some pests, I should say. But anyhow, these were the orchids. Sorry. Sorry, you guys, for uh, this interruption in my own video, but I almost did forget. I also bought a beautiful Tolumnia. And let's start with this beautiful uh, root system and new growth here. And I need to let it go like this, and then we can have a look at the blooms. I just sprayed it. And then I realized I did forget to uh, show this one, but a beautiful red, purpley uh, Tolumnia I did buy as well. And as we can see, it's coming with uh, on a mount, and I need to come uh, get it off soon, and I will put it up like I have my others. But yeah, I did uh, get this uh, beautiful uh, Tolumnia as well. Anyhow, back to the original video. <laughs> it's so yeah, I bought three, six, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Twelve new orchids. Not that I needed them, of course, but, <laughs> but I couldn't resist. I couldn't. And I will show you some pictures now. I just took some pictures. I didn't film film it, but uh, uh, here are some pictures to give you a, a bit of an idea what uh, how it looks over there. As you can see, a lot of orchids. And the funny thing. <laughs> thing is, there were uh, quite a lot of Nelly Islers as well. And every single time I now come across a Nelly Isler, I think of Smelly Nellies. And it's uh, thank, uh, 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 uh fault, I should say, because he uh, calls his uh, a Smelly uh, Nelly. He also doesn't like the fragrance. I do. My doom uh, smell a bit more uh, uh, sweet, has a sweet type of uh, fragrance to them. He describes it more as a peppery fragrance, anyhow. Smelly Nellies. And the yellow ones were there as well, but I already have that one and I do have uh, the Nellies that they, they were selling, the red ones as well. So uh, I uh, left those there. But I did get something else and it's pretty nice. It's not an orchid, but it was very nice and I have it attached to my roof as you can see. Well, you see me try to get it off. And there it is. Look at this. What a beautiful. It even did spike at a certain time, but it's a beautiful air plant with quite a size to it. Eight euros. So, yeah, I thought I'm going to take it. It's beautiful. 
beautiful. So yeah, it's uh, it's uh, it came with a with a hook. So I have it here hanging, and it does look very nice here in the greenhouse. And I try to put it back. There we go. Whoops. Yeah, there we are. <laughs> so yeah, it looks very nice um, hanging here, and I spray it every three days, once every three days, I should say. And in summer, I might spray it every uh, morning just, just to keep it wet. But I don't want to uh, have it too wet, but it should, should do fine because I have two other ones where uh, very small when I bought them and they, they are growing, not quickly, but they are growing. So, and I think they are very nice to uh, give a, a very uh, nice look at the greenhouse, ha having uh, some air plants here and there. So you guys, that was my, uh, my haul and it was very nice. I even did uh, met two subscribers to my channel. So thank you ladies that you uh, did um, uh, let me know that you follow my channel. It, uh, it was really nice to meet you guys there. Uh, and uh, it's kind of funny. I also met quite a few people of a Facebook group. I am, I'm in that group for uh, several years now. So it's very, very nice to meet a person in, in real life. And, uh, but yeah, we all were kind of in a shopping mode and just to have a look what, what, what was for sale. Because sometimes it, it, in, in the pictures you saw, it looks like... You, they're all the same orchids in, in rows and it, it keeps on continuing, <laughs> but if you have a close look, there are some odd ones in between. So yeah, it was really nice. You need to really take your time and have a look in, in those trays. And that's something it's very nice to do, of course. The only downside is that you probably buy more orchids than you maybe should have, but it's just so much fun. So yeah, we didn't talk for, um, for long, because we, we, I think we just wanted to shop. But anyhow, it was very nice to meet, meet all of you guys. I had a very, very nice day. Even though it's, it's in total five hours of driving, so two and a half hours to get there and two and a half hours to get home. I think that's quite a lot of driving. I'm, I don't like those long uh, travels. But anyhow, it's well worth it. So I keep on coming back. And if I can, I will be there in fall again. And uh, probably buy a few more orchids, who knows? But you know, the funny thing of orchids is, of course, you can always give them away. But yeah, that's not easy for me <laughs> as well. Anyhow, I still have some room and I try to keep some room because it's very nice to keep, uh, uh, have the room for some new orchids, of course. So, But uh, like I said, I try to not buy this summer, this spring new orchids because I have a lot of them and they do so well for me, they bloom so well. So. But yeah, sometimes it's just nice to shop. Anyhow, you guys, I hope you liked this uh, video. Like I said, it was very nice and I'm now going to spray it. It's fairly early in the morning. Uh, sadly, it's not that sunny. I can use a little bit more of sun. But anyhow, I will leave them for the day. I will uh, put on my ventilators. So get that air moving and thereby they should be uh, dry at the end of the afternoon. Like I said, it's still morning here. So uh, it should be, uh, should be fine. Anyhow, thank you for watching and of course, if you like, please give this a, a thumbs up. If you didn't already have, you may want to subscribe to my channel. And for now, just thank you for watching and I really hope to see you at one of my next videos. Bye bye.